Good afternoon, everyone. So how is your Sunday going? So many of you are asking me, why are we receiving paper checks in the mail? And what can I do to help speed up the delivery of my third stimulus payment? So today I will be answering some of these questions and more in today's video. I will also be discussing why the IRS doesn't care about the millions of Americans that receive Social Security and other federal benefits. But before this video starts, this is a reminder that I will be giving away another $50 Amazon gift card next Friday. To enter the giveaway, all you'll need to do is subscribe to my channel, like this video, and then comment below. Remember, I will always be here to bring you the latest stimulus information and news. I'm doing my very best to help guide you through all of this nonsense. Please subscribe to my channel and share this video with your family and friends so that we can help as many people as possible get their third stimulus check right now. Alrighty, everyone. So I know a lot of you are very upset at the Internal Revenue Service, Social Security Administration, and many lawmakers. I can completely understand how you all feel. We have all been anxiously waiting for the IRS to finally start caring about Americans. And it is very upsetting to see how many millions of Americans are being treated right now. Many of you in the comment section below have been sharing your thoughts on why the IRS hasn't sent out stimulus checks to Americans that receive SSI, SSDI, RRB, VA, and survivor benefits. It is definitely odd how Americans that have filed taxes have already received their stimulus checks, but Americans that don't file taxes have not. So what are your thoughts about this, everyone? Please leave them in the comments below. If your direct deposit information isn't on file with the IRS, please don't expect to receive your third stimulus check in your bank account. According to the IRS, March 24th was the last day for direct deposits to be made. On March 24th, the agency sent out 37 million more payments. If you were eligible for the third check and haven't received a payment yet, you should expect either a paper check or an economic impact payment debit card in the mail. Don't worry about not receiving your check through direct deposit. The EIP prepaid debit card was also used as a payment method for the first and second stimulus checks last year. An economic impact payment card is a prepaid debit card that the U.S. Treasury has used to distribute stimulus payments in addition to paper checks and direct deposits. These cards will be provided to eligible U.S. residents the government didn't have banking information for but it isn't clear why you might get an EIP card instead of a check or direct deposit. Last Wednesday, the IRS and Treasury announced that they sent 37 million more payments this week, with many coming as paper check or EIP card. So if you didn't receive a direct deposit on March 24th, expect your payment to arrive by mail in the next coming weeks. I know that it's troublesome to now have to wait a few weeks to actually receive your check in the mail. In my opinion, if you have your banking information on file with the IRS, they definitely should use that information to send you your check through direct deposit. If the IRS sent a previous stimulus check as an EIP card and plans to send you another payment the same way, you'll receive a brand new prepaid debit card with a calculated total for your third stimulus check. The IRS will not add money to any previous card you may have. If you received an EIP card last time, that does not mean you'll get your money the same way with the third stimulus check. With the second round, the IRS sent double the number of EIP cards. The U.S. Treasury says that if you didn't receive your payment via your direct deposit by March 24th, you should definitely watch the mail carefully in the next coming weeks for a paper check or a prepaid debit card. If you're eligible for a third stimulus check and get that payment via EIP card, it will arrive at the address listed on your last tax return in a white envelope marked with the U.S. Department of Treasury seal. The card will have the visa name on the front of the issuing bank on the back, but make sure to update your mailing information on file if you've moved. What you can do to speed up the delivery process of your stimulus check is to make sure the IRS has all of your correct information up to date. I suggest having both banking and mailing information available for the IRS. If you have lost or destroyed your EIP card, you can request a free replacement through MetaBank customer service. The replacement fee will be waived for the first time. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. I will do my very best to get the answers for you. Good afternoon, Mr. Secretary. Thank you for appearing before the committee to testify on a subject of interest to all Americans. We are a country of many communities with diverse perspectives. However, there is universal recognition that we must invest in infrastructure 
if we want to continue American strength and prosperity into the 21st century. First, I want to tell you about my own community, the southern part of New Jersey. We are geographically, economically, and demographically a diverse community. We are the hustle and bustle of tourism and gaming. We are the pine lands and the wetlands. We are the Jersey Shore and the Delaware Bay Shore. We have miles of beautiful coastline and we have thousands of acres of farmland, but we have a common identity as South Jerseyans together. Mr. Secretary, our people need better infrastructure. We need investment in roads, bridges, and dams. We need investment in dredging, broadband, and airports. Those investments of this bill could make a generational impact on the South Jersey community. I'm sure that everyone else on this committee feels just as strongly about their community's needs. That, lead me, that leads me to the main point I need to make. This bill needs to be an infrastructure package for all Americans. For years, Washington has talked about infrastructure as the end all and the be all of bipartisanship. Now it's our opportunity to show that there is still an American dream and that our country can still unite behind it. We cannot approach this bill like we have, quite frankly, earlier bills this year. There needs to be bipartisanship. There needs to be an investment in all American communities. Our country, the United States of America, needs us. They need us to work together. So, Mr. Secretary, does this administration commit to making this an infrastructure package for all Americans? Yes, that's absolutely the intent of uh, the, the president and of my department, too. We, we recognize there are so many different kinds of communities uh, with different needs and different characteristics. And we've got to be serving everybody and everybody will be better off when we get this country the infrastructure it deserves. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. In order to make this an infrastructure package for all Americans, the bill must be bipartisan. If it is not, then the needs of tens of millions of Americans will be ignored in this process and their problems will be exacerbated. All right, everyone, that is the end of the video for this evening. I really hope you found this video helpful. Please do not forget to enter the $50 Amazon gift card giveaway, which is scheduled for next Friday. All you'll need to do is subscribe to my channel, like this video and comment below. Thank you and have a very, very blessed day.